Hey guys, okay, uh, so in this video, what I'm, uh, my objective is going to be to try to show you how to, uh, how you can program the STM32 microcontroller uh, with a Bluetooth module, so you can program it basically wirelessly. Um, obviously, you're going to need two Bluetooth modules. Uh, I'm, I'm specifically using the HC05, that's what I have. And um, so yeah, that's going to basically be it, but you're going to have to set up some settings. Uh, set up some settings, that's good. You're going to have to set this up um, in a specific way because if you remember that the UART uh, bootloader on the, that comes stock with, with the board, it has a certain settings that it's expecting and for communication, so that's how we're going to have to set up the Bluetooth modules. So let me explain what I have on my desk here. Um, I have obviously my STM32 blue pill. I have an HC05 uh, Bluetooth module. I have two of them. Oops, here it is. Two of them. Uh, the one with the blue tape is my slave. And this one's going to be my master. Your master is going to be the one connected to the PC, uploading the uh, the firmware to the to the to the microcontroller board. Uh, this is just a um, obviously a regular USB to serial converter. This is what we're going to use to program these modules, right? Um, as you know, with any serial communication, the TX goes to the RX of the other side, and then the RX goes to the TX of the other side. So I have the um, the RX of this module going to the TX of the microcontroller and the TX on U1 is obviously a 9 and then I have the uh, TX of the Bluetooth going to the RX of the microcontroller which is uh, a 10 okay so that's that this breadboard is just to power the chip and the board um, this is a little uh, this is a USB cable that I just kinda uh, cut off the the uh, what the hell is the camera? The tip so I can power my board. Um, this little USB hub is doing everything for me. This is just the connection to the computer. Here's my camera that I'm recording on, and this is my microphone. Okay, so when I plug this big thing in, this is just going to be the power for my uh, my breadboard over there, and I'm going to show you the current um, current. Uh, state of the microcontroller board. So I've powered up the board. Obviously, the Bluetooth turns on, but we're not using it right now. Um, so as, if you can see, where the heck is the camera? There it is. This uh, PC13 pin, this little LED over here, blinking at about one time per second. It's just staying on for a second, off for a second. And we're going to program it with a new firmware, and it's going to you know blink a little faster or whatever, just for a little proof of concept here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to program all these things um, live for you here. Well, not live, but I'm going to do it on the camera. So you can see me go through the whole process, and then I'll upload the uh, new firmware to it. Okay, so what I'm going to do at the moment is unplug the, uh, the power from the breadboard, because we're not going to use that at the moment. Um, I hope I'm not forgetting to explain anything here. Um, okay, so let's go to the uh, soft. Well, let me first show you how you get these into a mode where you can program them. If you can see here, all right, you see this little button down here in the corner, this little black dot. You're gonna hold. You're gonna turn the power off of the micro of the. This is the Bluetooth module, by the way. So you're gonna turn the power off, and you're gonna hold that little button. And then you're gonna put the power back on, and then you see that LED. What the hell is it? All right, there it is. So you see how it's blinking really slow, maybe like two seconds each time. That means that it's um, it's in command mode and it's waiting for commands. If it's blinking really fast, then it's looking for a Bluetooth connection and you didn't do it properly. So again, take the power off, hold the button and still hold the bo button while you plug the power back in and don't let go of the button until you see that it starts blinking really slow okay so we're gonna go now to the computer and this is the current firmware that's on there it's really nothing it's just blinking an LED on and off but we're gonna modify this excuse me and upload a uh, new firmware so you can open up your Arduino if you want or any other COM port uh, viewer thing and we're going to connect to the uh, 
to whatever COM port it's on. So since I plugged this on and off, it's still on 27. Okay, so it's still on 27. So I'm going to go ahead and open the, the COM port. I am also going to show you this little file I made here. All right, so these are the settings you're going to have to put on the Bluetooth modules, right? So you're going to have to pick a master and you're going to have to pick a slave. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug this one at the moment. You know what? Let me get some stuff ready here. I'm going to unplug this one. So this is my slave. Okay, so here's my slave with the blue tape. So I'm going to unplug this master. And I'm actually going to put this slave into that bootloader mode, like I said before. Holding the button down. And there it is. It's in its little bootloader mode. So now let's um, go back to the Arduino thing. And the COM port is 27, at least for my, uh, for my little USB thing converter here, it's 27. So type in AT, which is an at command, it's just, it's going to reply OK. If it gives you some sort of error anytime you're typing a command, just do it again. It does that to me. All right, so let's type in AT plus UART and then question mark. So I'm typing AT plus UART question mark. Nothing here yet. Let's see what that tells me. So it gives me this, right? So it gives me the settings that I currently have, which match these. But I'm gonna go ahead and, and type it for you. AT plus UART equals 9600 one comma two. Now what these settings mean is one stop. 9600 is the baud rate. Uh, one stop bit and two means even parity. Because if you recall, our bootloader is going to set up the UART on the microcontroller to have um, one stop bit even parity, 8 data bits. As far as the baud rate, you can actually put anything between 1200 and uh, 11,500, 11, 11, 115,200 baud rate. But I just use the standard 9600. But you have to put one uh, stop bid and even parity. So to do that, you do AT plus UART equals 9600, one, comma 1, comma 2, you press enter. And then it's going to return OK. The next setting is the role. So this is going to be my slave. So you type in AT plus role equals 0. And you press Enter. And it's going to say OK. And to verify, you can do AT plus role and then question mark. And it's going to return that the role is 0. OK. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get the address for this slave. So I'll just do AT plus ADDR question mark. So here's the address for uh, my slave. So I'm going to copy that. Can't right click there. Copy that. I'm going to paste it in here. This is a. You're going to paste it in here, right? All right. So what you're going to do here is you're going to replace these colons that it gave you with commas, comma. So you're going to replace the colons with commas and. That's it, because we're going to use this later when we're setting up the master. Then you're going to press um, AT plus reset. So let me verify everything's fine. 96.1 and the roll equals 0. OK. Um, so I'm going to do AT plus reset. And as you can see right now, hopefully it'll zoom in. It's blinking kind of slow. You see the LED there blinking really slow. Once I hit enter and send that command, it's going to start blinking fast because it reset it. And as you can see now, it's just listening for a connection. At that point, we are done with the slave. So you can go ahead and unplug it. Now I'm going to plug the master in. Oops, I forgot to hold the button down. Don't forget you got to hold the button down so that it goes into that uh, command mode. Alright, so now this is in command mode. So I'm going to type in AT, get a okay, OK from that one, just clear this out. Um, and for this one, here's the master, you're going to send these commands, right? We're going to set it up the same as the other one, right? Because they have to match. Uh, 9600 baud rate, 1, comma 2. So AT plus UART equals 9600, 
comma one comma two and enter okay then the role for this one is going to be zero right because I mean one because it's a master so role zero is slave role one is master and I think it's already at master because obviously I did this before so I'm just gonna check at role question mark role one okay now the bind uh, now I have to bind it to this address so let's do uh, AT plus bind and that address that I have there is from something else alright so I'm gonna do AT plus bind equals and can I paste yes and it gave me a freaking error so let's do AT plus bind equals paste that again maybe I do have a space I had a space at the end of the nine and now it says okay so if I do AT plus bind question mark um, as you can see 98 D 3 31 FB 6499 all right so now the master is ready to go so I'm gonna go ahead and reset the master and now it's resetting and it's just there waiting for a connection all right now another thing you're going to need is you're gonna go to STM's website or just Google STM um, STM and then put STM flasher and it's gonna be this first link that pops up it's a flasher software now this is not like the ST link uploader because the ST link uploader requires an ST link this is how you can upload to your microcontroller with just a USB uh, to serial converter um, so you can download this it's right here at the very bottom get software you do have to register with ST to download your crap but anyways that's that so you're gonna download that when you download that um, you install it wherever you're gonna install it obviously another thing you need to do is find the binary or hex file of your project right um, so now let me go ahead and should I switch views at the moment all right so what I'm gonna do now is the slave is set up so I'm gonna go ahead and plug connect this again so a9 is TX of the micro which is gonna go to the RX of this and a 10 is the RX and it's gonna go to the TX of the microcontroller um, this is ground and this is VCC okay so that's ready to go and that's all good all right don't forget that obviously since we're gonna do this via the bootloader you have to take this uh, little pin as you can see I've removed the other one that pin um, we're not even doesn't even matter so you're gonna have to remove this and switch it to the other side to enter uh, your bootloader mode and as you can see there's no ST link so we're not uploading this via ST link um, okay so now that's that I'm gonna go ahead and power that board and you should see that these two are gonna start blinking uh, in sync once they uh, they connect to each other and I may have to restart this once or twice because you know these are cheap Bluetooth modules so you get what you pay for so let's see if they start getting in sync there you go they are in sync alright so I'm gonna go ahead and switch the view now open the oh no first I'm gonna go to Atalic studio right I'm gonna as you can see the current let me make this a little bigger the current code has the LED blinking one second on one second off and you can verify that, well that it's not on right now it's on the bootloader but you can you saw that earlier so I'm gonna put it at a hundred and I'm going to uh, go ahead and I, I built the project so at that point it's already uh, it updated the the hex file so this may or may not work the first time because sometimes I find I have to restart them for this stupid little uh, flash loader thing to work so you're gonna set this to the COM port that your uh, USB to serial converter of your uh, PC is connected to mine's on 27 you're gonna set it to 9600 even parity echo I'm not sure but I just leave it at disabled cannot open the COM port oh shit it's used by the Arduino right now 
close that. All right, so it it connected to um, right there is already enough to tell you it it connected to the bootloader. So if you have this step, you've success, successfully wirelessly connected to the damn bootloader. Then you press next. Then you go to target um, for this specific uh, microcontroller board. It's the 64K version. Then you press next. And you, you can erase, you can do other things, but we're going to download to device. So then you're going to choose what are you going to download to the device. You're going to go here, you're going to go to hex, find the hex file, and then you're going to press next. And if all goes well, there you go. It's uploading the firmware via Bluetooth. All right, so now we're going to close this. So now it uploaded to the board. So how can, uh, let me switch the view here. So that's it. But now, obviously, the board is still in uh, it's in bootloader bootloader mode. So I'm gonna come on, baby, focus, focus. There you go. I'm gonna put the chip back to regular mode so it doesn't enter boot mode, and I'm going to power cycle the board. Uh, which is the power? One of these is power. There you go. Oops, I unplugged them both like an idiot. So five volts. God darn it. Five volts, and there you go. You see the LED now has a new firmware, and it's blinking faster if you can see it because I know it's really bright. So I mean, there you go. It's just really a uh, fucking hell. This camera is no joke. Whatever you can see it. Proof of concept. Uh, uploaded the firmware wirelessly via Bluetooth and the bootloader. It would be freaking awesome if you could do all of that with an ST link. But obviously, um, these little modules just do serial communication. They don't really do any advanced uh, stuff. Actually, I'm sure they do. The actual microcontroller, the Bluetooth microcontroller, I'm sure it does. But these modules just expose the RX and TX pins. Anyways, guys, uh, gosh, you don't understand. It's like the third time I did that video because... Uh, I was messing up some stuff and whatever. There you go. It works. You can try it if you want. Um, and enjoy yourselves.